Dumbledore's vacant gaze falls upon Harry, his face etched with emptiness. For a moment, his lips tremble as if about to speak, but instead, he unleashes a sneeze directly into Harry's face. Professor, that's absolutely repulsive, Harry exclaims, unsuccessfully blocking the old man's nasal explosion. Quiet, Harry, we've little time. Listen carefully. Dumbledore's expression grows grave, his eyes filled with an almost manic intensity. As Harry moves to cover his face, Dumbledore swats his hand away, sneezing with even greater vigor. Patience, Harry. The time will come when it will reveal itself to you. You'll know. What's wrong with you, Dumbledore? Voldemort is here? Ready to kill us both, are you high? Tell me what to do, Harry with snot dripping down his forehead pleads. Growing increasingly frustrated, Harry questions Dumbledore's elusive guidance. Dumbledore's vacant face forgets where he is, only to reach into his cloak and unveil a Glock 9mm pistol, offering it to Harry. This may seem perplexing now, but when the time comes, you'll understand, Dumbledore assures. Yeah, it's a gun, Professor. I know how to use one. Do you want me to shoot Voldemort? Will that work? Harry questions, perplexed. The time has come, Harry Dumbledore exclaims, pointing at Voldemort. Resigned, Harry turns towards Voldemort, unloading the gun, ending his life swiftly. Dumbledore bursts into an echoing laugh, reveling in the victory. Well done, Harry. A billion points to Hufflepuff, Dumbledore exclaims, mistaking Harry's house. But, Professor, I belong to Gryffindor, Harry responds, sheepish. Dumbledore's eyes narrow into a menacing glare, piercing through Harry's very soul. Hufflepuff wins the House Cup, Mr. Potter, Dumbledore declares, his voice filled with authority. From his other sleeve, Dumbledore reveals a second Glock 9 MAM pistol. Wizards frozen like statues, guns drawn, fingers resting on the triggers. You forget one thing, Harry. Oh, yeah, Professor, what might that be? You're all out of bullets, Harry. Dumbledore's smile vanishes into a blinding flash as he pulls the trigger. Harry Potter's life is extinguished, and Dumbledore's reign begins. Harry Potter's tyranny is over Hufflepuffs, devour his flesh, ensuring he's never resurrected. Echoing loudly through the room, Dumbledore's voice resonates with malevolence. Hufflepuff students emerge, devouring Harry's lifeless body, sealing his fate. The room shrouded in silence, the scent of death lingers, the air heavy with grief. Dumbledore stands amidst the gruesome feast, his face twisted with twisted satisfaction. Hufflepuff students, once kind and gentle, now consume Harry's flesh with ravenous hunger. Their eyes gleam with an eerie hunger as they descend upon his remains. The sight resembles a grotesque painting, a macabre tableau of darkness and savagery. Each bite, a testament to Voldemort's reign, ended to hope extinguished. As the students feast, their bodies seem to transform, a sinister metamorphosis underway. Their once friendly faces contort into cold, menacing masks, embodying an unholy power. A dark energy courses through their veins, a corruption taking hold within their souls. 
The room trembles with an unsettling aura, a palpable sense of impending doom. From within the shadows, whispers of allegiance to a new master echo ominously. As the last morsel is devoured, their eyes glow with an otherworldly fervor, loyalty forged. Hufflepuff, once the epitome of loyalty, now devoted to a sinister cause unmasking their true nature. The room now drips with an eerie darkness, suffocating the very essence of hope. Dumbledore, his face etched with triumph, commands his newfound loyal Hufflepuff followers. A wicked grin dances across his lips as he revels in his newfound power. Together they form a dark alliance, eager to spread their malevolence throughout the wizarding world. Their once vibrant colors now fade, replaced by a sickly shade of obsidian. Whispers of a new era, crafted by their treacherous deeds, echo through the shadows. Their steps echo with a haunting rhythm, each one a testament to their sinister purpose. As they take to the night, their presence leaves a chilling void, an ominous warning. The world remains oblivious to the darkness lurking beneath their unsuspecting gaze. Evil now walks within their midst, a hidden menace waiting to strike. Dumbledore, once a symbol of wisdom and guidance, now embraces the allure of darkness. The path ahead veiled in uncertainty, the fate of the wizarding world hangs in the balance. With whispered incantations and sinister intentions, darkness tightens its grip, casting a long shadow. The world wakes, oblivious to the lurking darkness, a slumbering beast ready to strike. In the tranquil halls of Hogwarts, echoes of a twisted plane reverberate softly. Dumbledore, now consumed by his malevolence, plots a grand display of power. Seeds of manipulation planted, tensions rise, friendships strain under the weight of suspicion. The castle walls whisper secrets, unaware of the treachery that lies within. Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin students sense a growing unease, a disruption in the air. Unbeknownst to them, the threads of fate intertwine, weaving a tapestry of doom. Dark magic lingers, infecting the very essence of Hogwarts, entwining its roots deep within. As tensions mount, alliances are formed, bonds tested, and loyalties shattered. Whispers of resistance flutter through the hallways, a glimmer of hope amidst the shadows. Within the castle's halls, a clandestine group emerges, united in their quest for truth. Their courage fueled by defiance, they prepare to confront the darkness that surrounds them. Unseen battles lie ahead, a clash of ideals, a fight for the very soul of Hogwarts. The night sky hangs heavy, its stars masked by a blanket of ominous clouds. In the heart of Hogwarts, the chosen few gather, faces masked with determination. Their footsteps echo through the corridors, a symphony of purpose leading them onward. The air thickens with anticipation, flickers of magic tingle along their fingertips. With each step, their resolve strengthens, their unity a shield against the encroaching darkness. Through hidden passages, they navigate, guided by a flickering torchlight and instinct. Silent prayers escape their lips, invoking ancient magic to guide their way. 
their eyes blaze with determination, reflections of the fiery spirit within their hearts. As they reach their destination, a door looms, its entrance veiled in mystery. A collective breath is held, courage surging through their veins as they venture forward. Behind the door lies the heart of darkness, a confrontation that will define their fate. Within the chamber, the battle unfolds, flashing lights and cries of defiance mingle. Through strength and sacrifice, they fight, their spirits intertwined in a dance of desperation. The clash of magic reverberates, shaking the foundation of Hogwarts Castle. Spells collide, creating bursts of light that illuminate the darkness within. Friend and foe blur, faces masked by determination in the chaos of battle. The air crackles with energy, swirling currents of power charging the atmosphere. Determined shouts and defiant cries echo through the chamber, a symphony of resilience. Walls tremble as the battle reaches its crescendo, each spell a burst of defiance. In the midst of chaos, friendships hold strong, bonds tested but unbroken. As the dust settles, the victors emerge, weary but triumphant in their unity. The defeated lie scattered, the remnants of their dark ambitions cast aside. In the aftermath, Hogwarts breathes a sigh of relief, its spirit resilient and unwavering. A new dawn awaits, a chance for healing and rebuilding after the devastation endured. Lessons learned and bonds forged, Hogwarts stands stronger, ready to face the future. If you enjoyed the story, like, subscribe, and see you in the next video.